Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Um, what I wanted to go through today is a really cool feature of NAV that has been in there for a while. Um, it's called Rabbit Start, and the idea behind that is that you can easily import data into NAV uh, when you're starting out the system. But it's also extremely useful just on a day-to-day -day basis when you need to get information inside NAV or out of NAV into Excel. As we all know, and I've, I've covered in a different video, we can um, copy to Excel out of any list uh, very easily. However, if you want to import uh, into a table, that might not be as easy. So um, going through the rapid start package is definitely a great way to uh, get data in. So what I'm going to do is go in here. Um, I need to import uh, two customers. Uh, into the system and actually I'm just going to type them up into Excel and uh, so first I need to create sort of an Excel template of importing and I go into something called rapid start uh, right here and this has a lot of options um, you can create templates some questionnaires etc but I'm going to go straight into configuration package because that's sort of the heart of it and I'm going to create a new package. And if you've seen the videos I've created before, I usually go very quickly through it and go through the meat of things. And you can explore around uh, yourself if you want. Uh, then I'll go here into customer. Uh, I'll create this package called customer. Uh, this customer. And I'm going to pick. So. Here I'm picking a table, um, and I can import into any table in NAV, which makes it very powerful, uh, or most table at least. So here I'm going to pick the customer table. OK. Um, just hit F5 to refresh that. It tells me there's 122 customers in my system right now. OK, good enough. So I'm going to go right into um, table. I'm sorry fields right here and this shows me uh, all the fields that are inside this table and it's including all of them now I don't want to export all the fields in this table I'm only concerned with like the the most important ones so I'm going to clear all included uh, you cannot include the number field clear the uh, number field because that's a primary key uh, so I'm going to check off the name, address, city, uh, contact, actually I'll leave that alone, phone number, um, customer posting group, uh, if you worked with NAV you know that that's an important one, and so let me see what else do we want here. Um, one thing in NAV and the customer table, which is kind of odd, but it stems from this being a European system originally, is that we talk about postcode, not zip code, but this is the zip code. And we call, talk about county instead of state. Uh, it's just because NAV is used all over the world, so uh, hence that. All right, so... It looks like most of the fields that I do want. Let's see, let's see the general posting group. General business posting group is one of the ones I want as well. Um, right here. All right. So I checked the ones I want. Now I just hit OK. And so I don't have a template to import into this because I don't know how it's going to look in Excel. But an easy way to generate that template is just to export into Excel first. So it says yes, and I open that up. And now I'm going to see, hopefully, yep, all of the fields in Excel that I just selected. 
Um, so you can see right here, let's just do it like this. I have my name, address, city, customer posting group, general business posting group, zip code, state, and email. Now, this is an export of everything that I have in the system. Uh, but I want to import. So I can just take this, uh, highlight it, and there might be even an easier way to do this. This is one way. I can just delete, like so. And now I can type in the information that I want to import. So I'm going to do here uh, DEF001. I'm doing two of them. So I'll do just DEF002, giving them their own names. So this is going to be the uh, DEF Corporation. Um, they are on 123 8th Street in New York, phone number 212, uh, there we go. Now, I can't remember how this goes, but I think this is going to be domestic. So this has to be the same thing as you can select in an AV, a national, like that, 15. New York, and this is df01 at df.com. I will do this one as well. I might have to get through this. So I'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it into a temporary location that I have. I'm just going to call it the df save. I close this out. Okay, now I'm back here, and I'm going to go ahead and import. So I'll go ahead and just hit Excel, Import, DEF. And now you can see that we have two package records. And here is what I just typed into Excel. And everything looks good. So I want to go ahead and apply this data. I can apply the entire package by going over here and apply package, but I'm going to apply them one at a time in this case. So I'll just go apply data, and look, it took it in, and apply data, took it in. So now I go into customer, uh, and I'm just going to verify it's all there. I'll go into my DEF, and there they are. And I go in here. And one of the nice things you can see is I specified the name, but search name got populated. The reason for that is that it actually validates the data coming in. And when you validate the name field, it populates the search name in capitals. Um, and so this is how you actually get data in through Rapid Start services in NAV. Uh, which is an excellent way of importing uh, big amounts of data, or even if you need to export and manipulate the data and bring it back in. So uh, I hope you got something out of this. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments, or of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anecta.com.